What is up guys? I just made a discovery and I'm excited to bring you the third episode of the installment. As long as it loads up. There we go. So thank you to the Reddit user Mr. Mr. Okrizer 231. He said before I enter the the waypoint. I have Sir, to speed up my scaler. Oh, 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 and what it what that does is just it speeds up the in, 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 the, the internal the clock of our CPU. Oh, I don't know why it fixes our problem, but I don't care. <laughs> like uh, it's it's perfect. It was a perfect fix. So let's get in front of the little yellow thing right here. Okay. See the scaler, speed up, actually by four, and then, and we're good. I don't know what he said something in the beginning, but. I bid you good day, sir. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens, Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin, at your service. At my service? Mm, at everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be... Mm -hmm. Would be... I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I'd do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> Listen, Marston, I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. We're all a little okay. bit sus. <laughs> Head for Ridgewood Farm, John, and hurry. So after every mission, I gotta save. After every mission, I gotta save because, like. Also, I'm gonna change the audio settings. Okay, yeah. I heard about you, Mr. West. And I about you. Alright, uh, A little bit too loud. Good week in the week. Gullible out of their hard earned money. My dear boy. Damn, it's still too loud. It is you who is gullible if I may be so bold, for he needs such ill informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with a cup. We're going to destroy the merchandise. I'm in a bad place here. I have been blessed. And for that, I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. If my time is such a share, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking the death door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. More convincing Othello there has ever been. And so shall we there, Iago, or Cassio, mate. I don't like the sound of it. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The power. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll this. I'll you off at the outskirts of Bridgewood. That way, if you won't look at we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be formed. Eventually, I will call you up to try my cutter. And you're stolen the 
virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the pain. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So it is all a sham. No, no, just a little innocent valley who grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. Hmm. You think that buxom young girl you see on the Voyage camera posters knows the first thing about photography? Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees Those us. Those are two different arriving. things. One's a tool, one's see medicine. See you shortly, and remember, showmanship. And there's tools to make medicine. Oh, yes, sir. This farm looks familiar. Oh, isn't this where all the fucking people are dead? souls of uh, Chola Springs, uh, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chest, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and <laughs> it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. <laughs> Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. <laughs> well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze <laughs> over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. West Dickens' own... The homie just walks through. Tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Get ready to shoot that hat. I got a bunch of bullet holes in your hat. <laughs> hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? They don't work like what? Here, Come on! Are you a man or not? A Is challenge a of battle right has been offered to our volunteer. Prepare right. for a display of Herculean brawn. I've had about enough of you. I believe 
Was I not supposed to kill him? <laughs> Marvelous shot, dear boy! The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. I got no thumbs anymore. Get out of my way! <laughs> Fuck! Don't give a shit about him, man. No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Maybe your well, hand will stop bleeding. I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's a most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Yeah. We got a way in, at least. This speed looks right fetchy. I don't mind, Ellen. Good luck, sir. Good job. Go to this one. Scrawny Nag, where are you? Get the reference of Scrawny Nag. This is because you played uh, Red Dead 2. You might get this reference. There's a turn right here. Come on, come on. I think I run into a bunny or something right now. Voices will sound very funny. I saw this on the TikTok. Howdy, friend. I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place, now can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. 
We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. $200. Okay. I'll take it. I'm not going to force him. That's Hosea, bro. Here you go, then, partner. Good luck out here. Rest in peace, Jose. Now, what's the other side quest? The American Appetites? This ain't gonna be the last. And it'll make sense in the next series, I think. Come play. on! Red Dead Undead. Or Red Undead, or whatever yeah. it's called. Thing. A shoe and a bone, and I just know it's it's the boy. If there's no DNA spike, DNA pack. The but uh, uh, uh. Sorry. Come on. My brain just pooped itself. There's no DNA test back then. There's no way to identify the bones. You just know. You just know that's your son. Oh, it's all over there. Uh, I don't do Seth right now. That's Chad. Let's do the wire on. Come on, come on! Oh, and 
Me even right. reading anything? <laughs> you put your money up for the deed. There you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always best when these transactions go smoothly. Particularly when you can make more money out of it. Mm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh, yeah. Now, I'd say let's go to Bonnie, but I kind of want to know with a top hat dude. Isn't this like really? my feet, the horse's foot got stuck into the ground. I don't know why it does that, it slows me down. When I jump, I jump out of the ground. So, it's gotta compromise in here. I'm gonna make me down. And for how good it looks and how good it runs. Check up on Bonnie? Nah. Searching for a partner. I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's waiting for me back in the cabin. That's very sweet of you. And we've been together 50 years now. Me and my darling Anna. Don't tell me. Don't tell me she has. She's always thought of these, these wild fever few that uh, grow around this place. But she's she's getting on now in years, and it's hard for her to get up and about. So I want to. I want to bring her a lovely bouquet for our anniversary. Well, I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels, if you'd like to help. Oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. I'd love it. So bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh? Captain else I can do for you, partner? How would I... Search... I just start running around here? Or we just uh, bring it back whenever. Yeah. Saw a flower on the map. So I'm gonna go grab it. Please. That's the flower. How many more do I need of these?
Turning out to be the so red sage, but the real, real bravo and the desert sage neither. Wait, this looks familiar. I think I've seen this in Red Dead too. What the hell do you want? Look, don't ask how, but I know what you're about to do. You don't want to do this. The hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, mister. I'm just here to say I don't think you should go through with it. Your wife, she loves you. Oh, shit, mister. I don't know who or what you are, but I guess I'm grateful. I thought my glasses were fucking... I guess you're right. I was blurry. raised better than this. Don't mention it. It's just the fog or go on now. Swamp. Since I don't gotta i am I'ma save. Just in case there's like a side quest that just be like uh-uh. here Broad daylight trying to kidnap someone, thinking no one's gonna do anything. Come on, come on! That and 
Where's the where's the thing you were saying? Oh all the way here. Damn. That's far, bro. Come on! Where are those flowers? Those are the like wild flowers. What's up, baby girl Barney? Baby girl Barney. What's up, girl? Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Come on. Let's see if we can find the old goat. Oh, well, now you're chilling? Not all panic? Maybe because I'm with you? Yes. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right. But I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. <coughs> Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had Brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe. So Who's that toe? over there? Nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now. Fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. It's a bad idea to split up right now. Wait, if you can! What could have happened to those poor men? Stay with me. I've got a bad feeling about this. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. <laughs> Those damn rustlers. I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there were... Oh my god! The barn's on fire! Yeah! Back that dumb horse! 
sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, Oops. John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John. Oh, <laughs> we said the same shit. My family owes you a great debt. <laughs> I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Side quests? Alright. Uh, oh. Let's go to Mark. This is a stagecoach. have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him. Find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? 
because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next lucky mare. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarland. Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarland wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarland! This is a nice girl you got there. Get down from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Deputy, make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. <clears throat> Come on. Right. Let's go get this McFarland back. See, this is what happens when the Federals so interfere slow, in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here <clears throat> dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lying in their pockets. Ew. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deeks, Williamson, right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. You wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill's standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once, you ugly That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Mr. McFarland. Bastard! What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. No popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and Pat. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business, neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? 
been an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but there ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. Right. I tell this him was, not to do something, he'll do it anyway. Just to spike me. If I punish him, reason. he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Now look at Zeke here. Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. If he does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. From what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Oh, God damn it! I ain't no use to you, damn! Yeah. Boys will be getting that smoke in, I bet. <laughs> Don't worry, my boys know how to treat a lady. Across the bridge! Not far to go now! be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is gonna be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Marston, lead Deke into town. Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rave. Maybe she won't want to go home. She's been fucked so good. What are you waiting for? Untie me, fillers. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. You want more? Say, partner. Follow me. <laughs> Bro, you're there for like Bonnie, half a second. Okay? I, I immediately reacted. I'm fine now, Mr. Mars. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what the hell took you so long, stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on.
quick. I'm sorry. We can look at the scenery while we do it. To you guys, it's just 60 FPS. To me, it's way really more. And run smooth. Still no flowers, eh? Fucking pro with that shit. Let's go. Oh, Lord, this is nasty. Oh, there's a fire out there. Missed it. That's what I wanted. One down, two more to go. If you guys see any purple, let me know. Those guys didn't die? I shot those guys in the face. Did you guys not see that? I shot them in the face. Damn. Nice, I'm close to Seth. Uh, I 
do want to finish grabbing all those flowers to see the quest. But at the same time, I don't think my dear wife would appreciate that too much. Hey, See what my exploits have been done for the marshal. Much obliged. There's no new addition. Oh, I thought you just wasted a dollar then. Morning, friends. Hola. Forgive me, sir. Mister. She's gone. Who is? My wife. She's gone. <laughs> she went out picking mushrooms in the hills. They're hanging rock and they got her. The stories are true. <laughs> What'd the police do about it? <laughs> oh, about as much as you'd expect. <laughs> Made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> you all know the outcome of this. You know what I'm saying? I'm losing my mind here. Maybe you should have fucking gone yourself, bro. Steal a horse. Something. Sonic speed! It just fucking hits us. Okay. Come on. Easy. Uh, I did not mean to hit you. I was trying to jump over the bitch. Okay, exact same assets. Were they exact? Were they the exact same person? Or what? Let's go. Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. 
It's been a great pleasure. Mm. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Yes. Me and Mr. West Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around. Look for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? What happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. Sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for it, assuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Horses are over here! Frickin' crackhead. Let's go! Fly, fly. Take that love, digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ah, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you? You're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. What the fuck? That's a crazy way to look at life. Maybe yeah, that's why he looks Master! where he does. Looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I'm mad Williamson and Deke. All them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who'll do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map that is. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. There, there. We are here. Oh. Easy. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. 
There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. This is one god awful assignment. Don't you lay a finger on them horses, mister. Them's our horses, you rat bastard. Listen! Get rid of keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses! You got a visitor! Oh my god, Seth! They arrested me! It weren't my fault! Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! This ain't none of your business! Just leave me alone! Join yourself down there? We'll split it between us, just me and you. Yeah. You must be stupid trusting that crazy bastard. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir! Damn you, sir! You've always been a twisty little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Ah! Then I'm gonna. Cut you uh, up, uh, piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's uh, gone crazy uh, in the sun. Uh, I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide uh, man's flesh. Ain't uh, never cut into a live uh, one before. <laughs> uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It, it, it's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, hmm? Moses. <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best clear now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon later. Here, take it. You He's earned it for helping work. with Moses. Ugh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! Best we deal with this now, mister. Come on! Hello, 
So we, this is where we can pay bounties off, like Go last game. Speak to that belt. Let's get this over with. Now perhaps I can walk the streets without being annoyed by the law. Come on, just give him that pardon, Lars. So, Mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, Mister. What am I next to? What's up, dude? My, my, take a look at you. When you take a look at you, you look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you say. Cold, tough, but with a heart of gold. The cowboy sings his lonely song like, like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me? No. Oh, nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vie for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my ma felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But uh, please don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> What are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit of the West for a monthly back east. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after, and action I'm gonna find, too. <laughs> Wild men, cheap women, you know, guns, that sort of thing. So an author needs inspiration because he's got writing Well, you book. have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. How much money? Maybe I have enough. Hopefully, it's not more than like 240. Bill Williams is gang terrorizing New Austin. Get your paper. Stop running away from me. Fucking. place but still good atmosphere real good atmosphere how much is this five bucks okay how do I how do I save the is the bed change outfits? Outing. So 
so down, oh. All right. Well, I'll call it there. Thank you for watching, and uh, be back for the next episode. Uh, bye.